Alzheimer's disease is about losing connection with one's past. People thought that Alzheimer's disease was something that you were fine, you were fine, then you fell off a cliff. You suddenly became affected. That's not right. There are subtle changes, 15, 20 year period before symptoms. I think that will be when we have the best, possibly the only chance of really stopping this disease. Alzheimer's has wrecked our family for generations. We have a rare genetic mutation that causes early onset Alzheimer's, and it's a dominantly inherited gene. Each of our children has a 50-50 chance of getting it. My dad became symptomatic around age 52. That's when it hit home. If we can't have a cure for me, doggone it, we better have a cure for our kids. By 2050, there will be 100 million victims with Alzheimer's disease. That's an unacceptable future. There are very few people who have the ability to change the history of mankind. These families can literally change the future of the disease for all time. There was nobody else that I went to school with that had this problem. And the problem is basically that everyone gets Alzheimer's and dies in their 50s and 60s. You know, we started with a very simple question. We were trying to answer the question of how do the mutations cause the disease. The Diane 2 study is a trial that is attempting to slow, stop, or prevent Alzheimer's disease. I found out about this study, and it was just natural to want to get involved and see how we could help. This very small part of the population has already led to fantastic discoveries in Alzheimer's disease. We are so valuable to them because without us, the sheer magnitude of a study to try to follow the Alzheimer's disease and progression in the typical population would be too big of an undertaking. The early onset form by mutation carriers is very similar to the later onset sporadic AD form. And so if they can cure it or prevent it with us, then the hypothesis is that they're very likely to be able to do it for everyone. The trials are giving family members a sense of hope and also a sense that they're not just passive victims. This study helps me live in hope. We have a lot of momentum through the Diane study and other studies going on right now. I think there's a, a really great opportunity coming and let's get there as quick as we can. My uh, family is counting on it.